our next question is 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 into 4 to the power 2 whole to the power 6 into 5 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 upon 3 to the power 2 whole to the power 3 into 4 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2 whole to the power 3 is and these are the options given to us. Now here we note that if we have a to the power m to the power m then m and n are multiplied and we get a to the power mn. We get a to the power mn means the power of a and this power whole to the power which is n they are multiplied in this case. In numerator we will have 3 to the power 6 into 4 to the power 6 because this 2 and 3 will be multiplied so we get 4 to the power 6 into 5 to the power 6 because here again 3 and 2 are multiplied. Similarly in denominator we get 3 to the power 6 into 4 to the power 6 into 5 to the power 6. Now we find that 5 to the power 6 and 5 to the power 6 are cancelled. 4 to the power 6 and 4 to the power 6 are cancelled. And 3 to the power 6 and 3 to the power 6 are cancelled. And hence we get answer as 1. So our option D here is correct. The value of this expression is 1. Next question is which is true? Now these are the options given to us. Now we know that any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So accordingly 2 raised to the power 0 is 1 and 1 upon 2 raised to the power 0 is also 1. So both are equal hence 2 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1, 1 upon 2 raised to the power 0 and both are equal equal to 1. So our option C here is correct. 2 raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to the power 0. Now we will see the next problem. If x to the power 1 upon p equal to y to the power 1 upon q equal to z to the power 1 upon r and x y z equal to 1 then p plus q plus r equal to what? And options given are like this. Now we assume that x to the power 1 upon p equal to y to the power 1 upon q equal to z to the power 1 upon r equals k. Let all these values r equal to k. This we have assumed. If x to the power 1 upon p equals k then x equal to x will be equal to k to the power p. We are comparing first and last. So if x to the power 1 upon p equals k, then x will be equal to k raised to the power p. And similarly, we find that y equals k to the power q and z equals k to the power r. Now, we have been given the second condition that x, y, z equals 1. So, if we multiply these three equations, we get x, y, z on left hand side and right hand side we get k raised to the power p into k raised to the power q into k raised to the power r. Now here the base is same, so powers will be added base in all is k, so powers are added, we get on right hand side k raised to the power p plus q plus r. And we have been given that left hand side that is x, y, z as 1. So this equals 1. Now we know that any number raised to the power 0 is 1, so here 1 can be written as k raised to the power 0. k raised to the power 0 we find is equal to k raised to the power 
t plus q plus r. Now here base is same in both the cases. It is k. So powers will also be equal. And this gives us t plus q plus r equals 0. Which here option d is correct. Value of this equals to 0. t plus q plus r equals 0. Now we will see the next problem. Next question is y to the power a minus b into y to the power b minus c into y to the power c minus a into y to the power minus a minus b equals what? And these are the options given to us. Now we know that if base is same then in multiplication powers are added. The indices are added. So this expression can be written as y to the power a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus a minus a minus b. Base is same in all, so powers are added. Now simplify the power a, this, can, this is cancelled by minus a, minus b and plus b are cancelled, minus c and plus c are cancelled. So we get y to the power minus bracket may a plus b. We get minus a minus b. So y minus we have taken common. We get y to the power minus bracket may a plus b. Now we have that a to the power minus m can be written as 1 upon a to the power m. So accordingly this can be written as 1 upon y to the power a plus b power will become positive if this comes in the denominator. So here our option d is correct. The value of this expression is 1 upon y to the power a plus b. Now we will see the next problem. Next problem is the true options is and these are the options given to us. Now we see that here the comparison between x to the power 2 by 3 and cube root of x square is given in all the options. Now we know that if we rewrite cube root of any number a then that means a to the power 1 upon 3. So accordingly if we write cube root of x square this would be equal to x square to the power 1 upon 3. And this obviously means x to the power 2 by 3 because 2 and this 1 by 3 will be multiplied. And on left hand side, if we have x to the power 2 by 3, then these two are equal. Then x to the power 2 by 3 and cube root of x square are equal. Hence, we get the answer A as correct, x to the power 2 by 3 is cube root of x square. Our option A here is correct. This is true. Problem is, the simplified value of this expression is, and these are the options given to us. Now, we see the expression. We have 16 x to the power minus 3 y square. Now we know that a to the power minus m can be written as 1 upon a to the power m. So this 16 x to the power minus 3 y square can be written as 16 into 1 upon x to the power 3 into y square x to the power minus 3 can be written as 1 upon x to the power 3. Now into next term is 8 to the power minus 1. So we can write 8 to the power minus 1 as 1 upon 8. Again x cube we have, we have written as it is and y to the power minus 2 we can write 1 upon y to the power 2. This is the simplified way of writing this expression. Now 8 cancels 16 2 times. x cube and x cube 
are cancelled, y square cancels y square. So we get 2 as the final answer. So the simplified value of the expression is 2 and hence the option C here is correct. Question 17 is the value of this expression is and we have these as options. Now we know that if we are to write the value of a upon b to the power minus m then this value is b upon a to the power m. So accordingly 8 upon 27 to the power minus 1 by 3 can be written as 27 upon 8 to the power 1 upon 3. Similarly the second term can be written as 243 upon 32 to the power 1 upon 5. We can make the power positive in this manner. Now 27 is 3 to the power 3. So we write 3 to the power 3 upon 8 is 2 to the power 3. So 8 is written 2 to the power 3 whole to the power 1 upon 3. In next term, we see that 243 is 3 to the power 5 and 32 is 2 to the power 5 and whole raised to the power 1 upon 5. This is the next step of ours. Now, powers will be multiplied. So, this 3 when multiplied by 1 upon 3 will give us 3 in the numerator. Sim similarly, in denominator we get 2 raised to the power 3 so when this 3 is multiplied by 1 upon 3 will give us 2 to the power 1 that is 2 so we get 3 upon 2 we get 3 upon 2 as first term and the next term will be 3 to the power 5 and when this 5 multiplies this 1 upon 5 gives us 3 to the power 1 so 3 is in the numerator and denominator also when 5 multiplies this 1 upon 5 gives us 1 so denominator is 2 so when we simplify it 3 into 3 is 9 and 2 into 2 is 4 we get 9 upon 4 which is our option A so the simplified value of the given expression is 9 upon 4